In this seminar, uh, we will look at um, grading assignments in Google Classroom and then exporting those grades into School Loop. First thing that we want to do is access our Google Classroom, and we do that by coming up here to the waffle, which are these nine dots up here in the upper right hand corner, clicking it, and then clicking Google Classroom. For continuity, I will be using the golf class that I used in part one and part two of this of the seminar. Um, part one was adding assignments to Google Classroom, and then part two was the student view. And we created a couple of, or we created one assignment called Golf Achievements. Um, I'll just be using the same class um, to show you how the grading process works. So click on um, the class that you want. And then here are the assignments that I have in my um, golf class. And uh, this was the original one that we assigned, Golf Achievements. Um, I'm actually going to um, look at this one, Individual Swing Progress. I'm going to click on that assignment. And then this dialogue is your grading dialogue. So I'll just do that one more time. So I got there. Um, when you open up your Google Classroom, you'll see your stream. And then in your stream, all of the assignments that you've assigned. And all I did was just click on the first assignment here, individual swing process. You would do the same exact process for any other assignment that you have. You would just click on it. So I'm gonna click on it. And then this is the grading dialogue. And uh, as you can see here in this assignment, I've only had three uh, students turn this in. Um, in this particular assignment, these students will have a little bit more time, but let's just say for argument's sake that the assignment is closed and uh, I'm not going to allow any more students to turn their work in. So what I want to do is I want to assign these three students a grade and uh, then export these three students into my school loop. So then what I can do is I can click on the student and then I can look at their work um, to evaluate their assignment. Um, I've already gone through this and uh, these three students um, did pretty good. So I'm going to assign them all full credit um, for this assignment. So then all I do um, is I go back. Um, I could actually, if I wanted to, grade the student within um, this dialogue. So you can see that um, has turned the assignment in. And then over here, it says grade. I could actually put a grade in there and then put a comment if I wanted in there just to let them know, hey, good job, or, or whatever it is that I want to make, um, comment I want to make. Um, but for uh, this seminar, I'm going to just go back to this dialogue. Um, and I've reviewed all three documents um, that the student submitted, and I'm going to give them all full credit. So they're all going to get 25 points. And all I have to do is just fill in the point values. Okay, so all these students have 25 points. Okay, and then um, these students down here have been assigned but have not turned the assignment in. So they're not going to get any credit for this. Um, of course, this is just an example. These actual students will have a little bit more time to do this assignment. But like I said, for argument's sake, um, these are the students that turned it in. So then all I need to do at this point is return this work to them. So I have, um, I have evaluated all the work, I gave it a score, um, and then what I would do is I would return it. So I come up here to the return button and I click return, and then it will ask me if I really wanna do this. Yes, I do wanna do this. So I could um, you know, uh, put a comment, this comment would go to all three students who've completed this work. I'm not gonna do that. Um, so I just click return. And then, what we can see is that if I scroll down, um, now I have a new column called graded. So these students have been graded and their uh, grade has been turned back into them um, so they can see what they got. Now, when a student looks at their assignment, um, they, in their view, um, it will be, the grade will appear very large up in the upper right-hand corner um, that they got, um, you know, 25 or whatever it is, of, uh, whatever grade it is that you gave them will appear large so they can't miss it. Okay, so I have zero. Uh, turned in at this point, 10 assigned. So those are the 10 students that did not do this and then three graded. Now what I want to do is I want to take those grades and just go ahead and add them straight into school loop. So then all I do is come over here to the gear. That's this guy on the right hand side and uh, click on it. Then I want to download these grades as CSV. You do not want to choose download all grades or copy all grades to Google Sheets. 
Um, if you download all grades as CSV, um, that will download your entire, um, all assignments that you've made. So all of your grades will be downloaded. We don't want to do that. We just want to download these grades. So I'm going to go ahead and download these grades as CSV and click it. Okay, and then I'll get a dialogue of where I want it to be saved. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Um, so I'll click save. And then the cool thing about Google Chrome is that um, it saves down here um, on the bottom bar. And that's important for the next step. Okay, so we have graded, we've returned, we came up to the here to the gear and downloaded these grades as CSV. The file appeared down here at the bottom. The next step is open up a brow an, um, open up a new browser window. Come over here to um, your school uh, loop. So here's uh, our school loop, and then I will log in. And then all I have to do is choose uh, which grade book I want. Um, this is actually a pretty good um, uh, example here because I have two. Uh, golf classes, uh, one for boys, one for girls, and uh, it doesn't make any difference. Um, I can just drag this file into uh, the assignment screen, and uh, and it will work regardless of which class it is um, it's in. Um, and I will show you what that looks like right now. So I'm going to click on Team Golf Boys Gradebook. Okay, so here's my gradebook. Then what I want to do is I want to. Um, add an assignment. Okay, and what I'm going to do is this was the individual swing progress assignment back here, individual swing pro um, progress. I'm just going to type that in again. So individual swing progress. And then we gave it 25 points. Um, I unclick link to Google courses because I do not like linking my school loop with my Google classroom. To me, it's more convoluted that way. Um, I prefer doing it this way. It's much easier. So I unclick this. Um, we can, you know, choose whatever date we want. So we have the assignment, individual swing progress, worth 25 points. Now all I have to do is publish it. Okay. And then here's the assignment. Now, the only extra step that you have to do is you actually have to click on the in, on this assignment itself. So you can't drag them into this screen right here with all of your assignments. All you do is just click on the assignment, and then this dialog will come up. Remember that uh, file that we saved that popped up down here? Then all we have to do is just grab it and then pull it up in, and there it is. So in this particular um, group of kids, um, I have these two um, assignments that were turned in. Um, in the boys class. Um, so then all I have to do is once this comes up is just verify that the grades are in there for those two students and then import. Um, if all the students turn it in, then I would just see a bunch of 25s, but this is, these blank spaces are those kids that didn't turn the assignment in. So then I just import. You can see the scores show up. Um, these are the ones that didn't match. So these are either the ones that did not complete the assignment or are in the girls class. Um, and then I can close that and then save, and it's really that easy. Um, so there the scores have popped up. Now, um, because I do have the girls classroom, all I have to do is come over to my grade books and then go to the girls class, click on it. Then I have to add the same assignment. Okay, so I'm going to type in individual swing progress once again worth 25 points uncheck link google courses and then publish now i have the same assignment here i'm going to do exactly the same thing i'm going to click on it then i'm going to drag again the file that we saved down here drag it up my one girl that completed the assignment um, there's her grade i import it there it is. Of course, all these didn't match because some kids didn't do it and others are in the boys class. And there it is. I'll save and exit. And I've just updated my school loop. Um, this process, once you get the hang of it, can save you hours upon hours of time every week um, in the grading process, um, entering these things in, um, you know, and checking the, the papers that you assign um, and sorting through can take quite a while. Um, I found that this saves quite a bit of time. 
Okay, so that's part three. Um, that is X um, creating um, the assignment, um, grading it in Google Classroom, and then dragging those grades out into School Loop. Thank you very much.